Friday, the 5th of December. We'll start with an official wreath-laying ceremony at the Union Buildings, the seat of government in Pretoria. At 10 in the morning local time, there will be a moment of silence. South Africa's Social Development Minister, Batabile Dlamini, says there will be several other activities, including sports, music and cultural events. This will include an exhibition at the Nelson Mandela Center of Memory in Johannesburg, where members of the public will be able to view the gun carriage that carried Mandela's coffin. I still have to pinch myself that it's going to be a year since that day when we got the news that Madiba had passed. But what I do remind myself of, uh, I've often been asked what distinguished him. He made people feel better about themselves and he made them want to be better people. And so he would want people on this day not to hero worship him, but to try to be better people. Madiba left us with a rich legacy. And that legacy um, we need to not only preserve, but share, uh, share it widely and uh, ensure that we can live it, live that legacy. And living it would mean that we have to, uh, on a daily basis, challenge ourselves to keep climbing those mountains that need to be climbed. Ordinary South Africans have welcomed the plans. I'm glad that we can celebrate the anniversary of his death because he was a great man and our, our, well, he needs to be remembered for that. Well, Nelson Mandela was a very important man who not only did great things for our country but for the rest of the world and many people looked out for him. So I think it's important for us and for the younger generations to do something that remembers him and to always keep him in mind because he was a great man. And I can't believe it's already been a year since he passed away, but I know that no one will ever forget him, and I know I will never forget him. The government has also urged people to pay tribute at sites around the country. Places of memory, like the Mandela home in Soweto, his village in Kunu, even the stainless steel sculpture behind me, which was inspired by Madiba, and faces Robin Island, where he spent more than two decades of his life behind bars in his fight for a free South Africa. Renard Alcam, CCTV, Cape Town.